All right, I had a request for some tacos, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I have not tried to make a taco before. Uh, I've looked at a couple 3D design tacos, and I looked at some pictures online, and I've got an idea for what I'm going to try. But let's just see how this whole thing goes. So I am going to make my taco shell upside down and then flip it. And I think what I'm going to do, it looks like about the shape. I'm going to make the shape that uh, is gonna, I'm going to want on the inside. I'm going to duplicate this guy right up here. So now I've got a second taco shell, and I'm going to make this smaller. Let's see, is that going to work? Pull it out here, and I can just align this guy. I hope. Hmm. Now, one thing that I don't like is that the side here is much thinner than this guy up here. So I'm going to see what I can do, just manually to even that out a little bit. It's a little tricky. That yeah, looks a little better. Now the other thing though is, if I'm going to have to 3D print this, I can't have the shell be too small. That's just going to make it kind of tricky. So maybe I will we'll make the shell a little thicker. Realign. Okay, that's a little thicker than I'd like it here, but I think that's going to be out of sight a little bit anyway. So let's see. Okay, and now I want to cut the edges off this. Uh, there should be a good shape around here somewhere for that. Oh. Maybe I'll flip this now. And we'll make it a prettier color for tacos. Now I'm going to try to uh, make this shape here the profile that I want for a taco. That looks about right. I'm going to take this piece and cut it out of another block. Like this. Let's see. something like that and I'm just going to select these two pieces group them together perfect and now let's uh, align these guys and I'm going to cut this piece out so I'll make that a hole select them both and what do you think not too bad taco for a taco shell all right, now here comes the part I'm worried about. I have no idea what I'm gonna fill my taco with. I think I'm gonna put some black beans in the bottom. Feel free to use uh, pinto beans or refried beans for your tacos. I don't judge. That is roughly bean shaped. Now one problem in here, if I just stack a bunch of these beans in, I'm going to have a lot of empty spaces in the middle of my taco. And that uh, will look just fine, but it might cause some troubles when I print. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just pre-fill that bottom part a little bit. and Just see if I can uh, avoid a little bit of trouble that way. And I'm going to cover this up and hide it anyway, so I don't I don't care how that looks at the moment. Oops, but I don't want it coming out here even that little bit. All right, time to make a bunch of beans. And there, if you uh, haven't tried the uh, smart duplicate, I just hit duplicate one once, moved it, and then kept hitting duplicates and uh, duplicate and it'll keep making more copies spaced apart and this could be time consuming here let's see oh definitely 
And I think I'll just put uh, beans on the edges and fill the top with, uh, I don't know, cheese and tomato, maybe some meat or something like that. I'm going to cheat and make a copy of this whole set of beans so that I don't have to redo all of those. So I'm going to select each of these beans. I'm going to hit duplicate. Now there are two sets of beans there and I'm just going to move one to the other side. Flip them around a little bit. Let's just see how they look. Whoops, that won't work. And that won't work. Let me do a little mirror on this and see if I can make them look just like the other side. Hey, that's looking pretty good. All right. Now, one thing I don't like about these beans, and I should have fixed that when I made my first one, is they're the wrong color. It's not going to matter when I print it, but if I'm going to have to look at this thing, I might as well make it pretty while I'm looking at it. All right, I'll take that. And I think I'm going to need some cheese on this. Let me group these guys together just so I don't mess things up while I'm playing. Oh, I'd like something with a little curve. I could use a cylinder for that or uh, even the uh, polygon. Let's see. I think I'm going to look and see what I can find in the she featured uh, shape generators. I'm not liking either. Oh, the extrusion. The extrusion can be kind of fun. So I want something that looks a little bit like shredded cheese. This is entirely too big. That's a little better. Oops. This would be a lot smoother if I had done this before. Usually before I do a demo, I will have made uh, whatever I'm demoing at least once. But uh, we're making this one live, because why not? So I'm going to duplicate this. And make a few of them here. And maybe, maybe I'll make another duplicate. And uh, just change its... Uh, size and shape just a tiny bit just to give some variety in there what I'd like to do is have uh, just a whole bunch of different shapes in different directions. Oops. That one's way out of bounds. I'd love it if there were a way to just put in a bunch of random ones in here, but I'd have to program that myself, and that sounds difficult to me.
Well, that's starting to look okay. Let's make a copy of that and just toss this on top of the uh, beans and just see what we've got so far. In fact, maybe we'll make another copy. Now, see, I had the smart duplicate on so that when I uh, duplicate it again, I made one way out here, and I have to watch out for that. Maybe I'll group these all together. I don't think anybody will notice if I have the same pattern repeating. And sure, why not? Let's duplicate again and move one of these way over here. Let's make sure nothing's poking out the sides. Oh, beautiful. And I'll make another duplicate. Swing one of these around just so it's a uh, little hidden. The nice thing about this duplicate is I don't have to make all of these from scratch like I did the first time, it's, which is uh, really a kind of a hassle. So if I make a bunch of them, I can just kind of modify that uh, whole bunch that I made the first time. That's starting to uh, come together a little bit. Now one thing is going to, that's going to be really difficult on this is uh, painting, which was the whole reason I kind of wanted to do the demo anyway. I have all of these details that are going to be really difficult to paint separately, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, hopefully. Or we may not. We may decide uh, <laughs> we just can't make it paintable. That's the joy of making things live that you haven't done before. How are we doing on cheese here? Is that enough cheese? Anybody want more cheese on their taco? I'm going to get rid of this other. All right, what else do we need on our tacos? Hmm. Definitely want some tomato. Ooh, I want little tomato cubes. I don't know if I can get away with using just the box on that, though. Maybe we can. Maybe if I round that off of just a touch, it'll look like I chopped my tomato really neatly. And let's make this a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to, oh, yeah, that's way too big. Now, if I put it in like that, it looks a little unnatural. I'm going to have to uh, maybe, I don't know, change the angle or something like that. Make just make it look a little bit more random. I'm going to go ahead and hit duplicate, duplicate now. So when I uh, move the next one, it's going to have a little different rotation. And I'm just going to keep on with the smart duplicate. Uh, I'll keep rotating these a little bit here and there. What I might do here is start a new duplicate. Now the other thing I probably should have thought of is I have not had lunch yet, and it's about uh, it's about one o'clock. So I may regret that I uh, chose a taco right around lunchtime if I haven't eaten. I don't know where I'm going to go after this to get a taco. Oh, what do you think? One more tomato? Okay, that's coming along. I've got some beans, some cheese, some tomatoes. That is not going to do it, though. Um, I need some green in there. Oops. Let's move that a little bit. Maybe I could do some lettuce. How would I do some lettuce? Ooh, I need something pretty thin. 
Hmm, let's look at the tools we've got here. So frequently when I'm looking for something odd and I don't want to have to make something really complex myself, I'll look at the shape generators. Uh, the problem is there are a lot of shape generators that do not print very well. So we're going to have to uh, be careful. Also, it's really difficult to find things in the shape generators. Tinkercad hasn't added a... Uh, oh, that's promising. They haven't added a great search function yet. Let's take a look at this shape. Let's see. So that is some sort of a mathematical equation here. If anybody wants to do the trig on that, uh, I will be very impressed. Let's see, but that actually looks pretty promising as it is. I'm gonna take this guy and cut it in half. Oops, missed a bit. Undo. If I had remembered my trig, I would have known that this equation was going to go down below zero, but it has been a long time, kids. Look at that. If that doesn't look like lettuce, I don't know what will. Be a little bit smaller because we're going to have shredded lettuce, right? Now let's pop one of these up here, just see what happens. Now I'm going to have a lot of voids in here that are going to be a little bit tough to print, and that's worrying me just a little bit. The second one, I definitely want to make it look a little different, maybe a little smaller, angle it a little, little bit, and I do not want a tomato poking through the middle of it. That's just going to ruin the realism of my taco. Well, just one more. Let's see. How about that? Nope, one more. Gotta have some more lettuce. All that's pointing the same way. Let's take this one out a little bit. All right. I've added my vegetables. Mom would be proud. Let's see. It's still not quite there. How about just a tiny bit of onion? Tiny bit of onion. Let's see. Control C B. Let's make another one of these. And the best thing is I don't have to chop this myself. And I don't even have to center it. That'll look better a lot of centered. Alright, let's group that and see if I can make this small enough to be convincing. Chopped onion there. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's way too big. I really would like that to sit up top, I think. All right. And sometimes, you guys will have noticed this, it can be really hard to grab that uh, rotation handle. Yeah, about there. We'll take it.
maybe another one over here. Oops. You can tell I'm having to concentrate on this because I've just stopped talking altogether. Okay, I got three little pieces of onion. I think I'm going to let that go. Now, if I wanted to get really fancy, I suppose I could put some grill marks on. Uh, but I am pretty happy with how that's looking. It's not too full, but that's going to let me uh, fold it over so that I don't get it all over myself when I eat it. I don't know about you, but I've got a tendency to make a mess while eating tacos. Let's see if I group that together. Let's make sure that we can keep all our colors in here. Now one thing that I definitely do want to do is flatten out the bottom of that so that it'll stand up on its own. Um, this is going to have a really hard time printing. It's going to have a tendency to fall over. Uh, if, if it actually gets printed that way, then it's definitely going to fall over. I could put it in a little taco tray or something like that, but I'm going to take the easy way out and just flatten the bottom. Let's see here. And that is probably enough. Let's group that together and see what happens. lot of pieces now so this is taking Tinkercad a little bit to think about but it should be cutting that off anytime now anytime now so the first thing I'm going to do after I print this is see what kind of supports are in here because I, I am worried about all these little voids I'm, the supports that I can see I'm going to take off and I'll may have to do a little bit of filing or clipping to get some excess pieces off. And then I'm going to need to prime this, which means painting the entire thing. And I'll probably paint it in a white or something like that. Um, I might do uh, an off-white. I think I have some spray paint that's pretty close to this taco shell color. And then if I miss something in here, it won't look quite so off. And then it's going to take a lot of really small brushwork in here before I can get to the, uh, the fun finishing steps. But with some luck, we'll have uh, a taco finished and painted pretty soon and I, I can show off. And it does not look like it has grouped. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right. And that's it for this part of it.